I have heard people say if I was in your position, I would kill myself. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. Uh, we have had comments where people will refer to Mark as my caregiver. They don't necessarily assume that he's my husband. Things are a little bit different when we travel and getting into unknown territory when we go somewhere we've never been. That she breaks easy. I do always have a bit of a fear though of my wheelchair kind of flipping over. <laughs> Take your time. Whoa! Because that'd obviously be pretty disastrous for me. Well, when you were Good. small, oh my gosh, I remember one month you must have been maybe about five or six months old, all of a sudden I would hear this scream and you were lying there and you would shake and you had broken your leg and you could see it was swelling and that you had had a fracture. And then within the week, it was fine, yeah. which was good, but then you broke the other leg and then it healed in a week and then you broke the other leg. And I think every week you just had a, a different break. <laughs> so Only we could heal within a week as an adult. My name is Kristen Victoria, and I was born with a rare condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, um, but really what it means is brittle bones. But I've really completely lost count of how many bones I've broken. Sneezing as a kid would break a rib. I'm very small, I think I'm about three foot six, and also my back is curved, so I have scoliosis. So I'm full of metal, I have lots of rods to help strengthen my bones. I've had tons of surgeries, when she was first born, um, a doctor came in and his words were, there's a problem with your daughter. And I thought, you mean she's not gonna live? And he said, no, 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 she's gonna live. She's gonna live like that. It's not a, a fatal condition. She's got brittle bones. Granddad keeping you on a pillow, right? Not wanting to hold you, being so afraid. It was a good thing that you had a doctor like Dr. Mosley, because when I was bringing you home from the hospital, I was asking him, now what am I gonna have to do? What should I do? And he says, just, just treat her normal. Just let her be, just let her be. And I thought, how can I treat her normal when she's got such fragile, brittle bones? And he says, no matter what happens, she's going to break. The more you stop her from doing things, um, the more difficult life is going to be for her. Just let her be, let her do things and take the breaks as they come. I'm happy you took his advice. I sure did, yeah. Every time I break a bone, I mean, it, it's excruciating. Um, but the thing about physical pain and the broken bones is that it's always temporary, and I always healed. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> Michelle and Kristen. Yep. Neither one of you could sit up. Nope. But it's funny to look at you. Look, considering the condition We're you're in. the time of our lives. Aren't you though? Laughing. Now, yep. this is the way you used to. Mark and I met online um, 14 years ago. It wasn't obvious from my profile that I had a disability. We decided that we wanted to meet up in person. And so I did want to tell him. And it's funny because he told me afterwards that he never actually fully believed that I did use a wheelchair until he met me. He thought I was testing him to see if he was shallow. She told me online that she used the wheelchair and I thought, there's no way. Kristen is very independent. I don't think her condition has gotten in the way of our dating life. And I wouldn't say that I go out of my way to help her. They're simple things, filling the teapot or taking the garbage out. No more than any other partner would bring into a relationship. He proposed to me and we learned a dance together. Um, we took lessons before our wedding day. I really appreciate Mark as a husband. He is someone that I can rely on 100%. Kristen has a very positive outlook on life, even given her disability. It's kind of molded who she is, and even in our relationship, it kind of helps to shape who we are. happy with who I am. My disability has shaped my life, definitely. And my life is good, but it, it's these other things in society that, that make it challenging. If I'm out with Mark, people often refer to him as my brother or like a blood relative, you know, rather than my husband, because unfortunately people still just, they, they don't see people with disabilities, people in wheelchairs having these like meaningful relationships or getting married. And fortunately that's still like a concept that people just don't put together. 
Mark and I definitely have the travel bug. We, uh, we love to check out the world and explore. When I was younger, it's not something I necessarily thought that I would be able to do so much because the natural world is just not meant for a wheelchair. Um, but we have found a way to make it work. We did a cooking class right on the hilltops of Tuscany, making fresh pasta, drinking wine. We've been on gondolas and the canals of Venice. We've stayed just outside of the Arenal volcano in Costa Rica. She just keeps planning more and more for us, and it seems to get more and more adventurous every time, whether it's Thailand, Africa, and we'd love to travel together. Hopefully soon I will have a accessibility-related travel blog. I think the social media has made it that much easier for the disabled community to come together and share all of our strategies and tips and resources. So you got so many muffins. What are these muffins for? Yeah, well, I thought it would make a, a good snack before we go out on our hike. Okay. Lots of energy in here. We're gonna go and check out a new trail. Looks like it could be a little bit challenging. Challenging? It can't be any more challenging than the hikes I've seen you taking. Well, when you went to Utah, oh my gosh. We're a little bit more bold now. We feel like if we could handle some of those other trails, anything around here, we can do. I think so. Got the bag? I got the bag. You're bringing your muffins. Mm -hmm. I think if anything, people who don't know us in our daily lives would assume that Mark is the primary caretaker of everything. That's not the case. There are things that I do, there are things that he does, just like in any relationship. This is a lifesaver, a game changer. We'll just, uh, we'll put it on when we get outside. Cool. I do always have a bit of a fear though of my wheelchair kind of flipping over because that could obviously be pretty disastrous for me. Let's go. I will likely break a good number of bones, so um, I do have to be a little bit cautious, but I do feel confident having Mark with me too. I think a lot of people might assume that I'm miserable. People will say to me, if I was in your position, I don't know how how I could do it. I think it is important to spread the message that things aren't always you know, what we think they are. It is definitely not miserable living with this condition. Oh, that's icy. I have had a lot of fractures. I have spent a lot of time in hospital. But if anything, that's just given me a unique perspective on life. <laughs> Take your time. But you didn't think we were going skiing today. <laughs> I didn't. Did you break, Cece? Uh, and that there's certain limitations, but we like to push the limits together. You okay? Whoa! We did it! Hill conquered! When people talk to me and congratulate me on looking past Kristen's disability, I think that they're kind of missing the point. It's not that it's to see past the disability that you're accepting somebody for who they are. So pretty over here. Yeah, it was worth coming down that yeah. hill. Did you wanna yeah. come up and have a look? Yeah. I'm definitely proud of where I am, things that I've wanted to achieve, I feel like I have. I'm really happy that I've met such a great man and that I have Mark in my life. I see a lot more traveling in our future. There are many more places on our bucket list 